Welcome everyone. I am so excited to be launching this wonderful book, What a Wonderful World This Can Be. And it is, yeah, illustrated and authored by the lovely Mary Ann, who we're going to hear from today. And um, just before we get started, this is a virtual space, so we're not quite in person like we would like to be, but I'm going to, yeah, you can comment in the YouTube comment section. And just to practice, I'm aware that everyone is tuning in from all over. So if you want now, you can just comment in there and let us know where you're tuning in from. Are you in bed with a nice cup of tea? Um, yeah, where are you? <laughs> Let's see where everyone's tuning in from. Marianne, where are you tuning in from? I'm in Cape Town. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> town. Chilly, chilly Cape Town. <laughs> cool. So, um, yeah, so now you know how to use the comment section. And, yeah, a little bit of background. My name is Alison Harris, and I'm the creative director at the Madry House, and I have the wonderful honor of working with Mary Ann on this book. And yeah, I'm gonna let Mary Ann introduce herself. Um, and then we're gonna get straight into the book. And then straight after that, we'll have some questions. And then we even can ask your questions. So comment away, let us know what you think about the book, ask us any questions. Um, yeah, it still is interactive, even though we're virtual. How wonderful is that? So Mary Ann, you can go ahead. I'm, yeah, I'm Mary Ann. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator as a day job. But yeah, I think that nice. covers the basics. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure there are many more things that are just wonderful. <laughs> I've heard so many great things from your friends and family um, that are supporting. And thank you to those that have been supporting. Um, and let's. Oh, Cape Town, nice. Block towers and re listening to books. I'm Robertson in bed with tea. I love all these in Cape Town with beautiful weather. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's a great. <laughs> the Netherlands, oh my word, that's incredible. Oh my word, how it the list, I'm sure it just keeps going on. So thank you again for everyone joining. And yeah, let's, we're going to share the screen now and you can read along. If you've ordered a book and you have a book already, you can read along with Mary Ann. Um, and otherwise, yeah, read along and later you can order a book too. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, there are birds, there are bees, there are sloths up in trees. What a wonderful world this can be. See the camels and yaks? You can ride on their backs. <laughs> Swim with dolphins and whales, but watch out for their tails. <laughs> there are mums, there are dads, there are hugs to be had. Hug Nandi, hug Jack, hug friends who hug back not as much nowadays. <laughs> there are marvelous places that make your heart soar. There are small precious spots to keep secret from all. But sometimes this world can be rather sad. Some people go hungry, some people get rough, some people just haven't been hugged quite enough. Sometimes the sky is hazy, not blue, and sometimes the seas can be dirty too. So when we feel blue, then what do we do? One thing at a time, that's what we do. Pick one piece of rubbish out of the sea. One sandwich for someone in some kind of need. One word to a bully, no. One hug for a friend. One thing at a time, though the things never end. 
but please don't get tired, that just won't do. For the world is a wonder, and my dear, so are you. Amazing, thank you, Marianne. Oh, I just, it's been such a joy to, um, yeah, work with you on this book. You really have created, yeah, just a masterpiece. And I think it's especially um, important book for these times um, because it can be quite overwhelming. And it's just a nice reminder that we can just do one, one thing at a time, one step at a time. So, yeah, let me um, get into some of the questions. So, yeah, in, let's start off with, have you always loved telling stories or is this a new adventure for you? I've always loved books and stories. So I used to like read myself stories in the passageway when I was tiny and couldn't read, just stare at books and mumble to myself. <laughs> Lovely. I did write and illustrate lots of little books when I was a kid that my parents very dutifully read. So, yeah, I guess that's wonderful. <laughs> I love that, and that's and just a reminder. <laughs> yeah, and that and that's such a lovely reminder to all the kids tuning in today that you can write a book too. Go and take some um, paper from home. You can fold it up and you can illustrate and write. And it really can be quite a fun process um, because, yeah, anyone can write. Anyone can create. We, we, we are firm believers here at Imaginary House that we are all creative um, in our different ways and forms. So that's such a lovely, lovely insight from you, Marianne. Um, how long did it take you to write this beautiful book, write and illustrate, actually. Oh, I'm not too sure. It was like an ongoing project, so it's in between working and things. <laughs> but I guess <laughs> months and with help from okay. friends and family, just like reporting back on and having mm. little suggestions. So yeah, around. And we, which, was that? Um, were you inspired by different things? Were you writing as you were inspired? Uh, so I wrote the, the little story in one, one go-ish and then a few rewrites. So. Okay. <laughs> I love that. It's always, it's always interesting when you um, do write books because often a lot of the elements come from things that are around you and your environment. So again, if you're out there and you're wanting to write a book, the best books are written from experience and experiencing different things. And um yeah, look around you, open your eyes, look look in the room that you're in right now and see what you can write about. Is it the teddy bear? Is it the pillow? Is it you drinking tea right now? Um, then there's something that I loved in this book. And I, I think I'm such a fan of, there's the story and that's, that's obviously beautiful and um, yeah, just lovely illustrations that accompany the story. Oh, there's the video. <laughs> um, and I think one thing that I noticed, which let me find, is that throughout the story, oopsie, I need to figure out what this video is. <laughs> and I see, where's my, it's so hard because it's actually mirrored, but I'm not even gonna try and point. But um, there's this little dog um, that actually follows, follows through the journey and, um, I wanted to know, let's find another one. He has the little dog, um, nope, that way. <laughs> Having a little wee on the pot. Um, yeah, which way, that way. Helping pick up the litter. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. And I wanted to know, do, is, do you have a dog? Do you love dogs? And um, what inspired the little dog character? but I live in an apartment, so I can't have one now. But that little dog was based on a childhood dog called Peppy. It was a spunky oh, little Jack. Oh. And she would oh, like, yeah. climb trees, but then she'd always get stuck because she could climb up, but she couldn't climb down. So it was like, oh. after school. <laughs> oh, sweet Peppy. <laughs> I love that. And I love that also you can, um, you might not be able to have a dog right now, but you definitely have a virtual dog um, that you can create and <laughs> yeah, you can draw your own best friend. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, just, I mentioned it briefly earlier, but um, yeah, we're in a time where there are just so many things. Um, and yeah, there's so many different causes and it can be quite overwhelming, I think for kids and adults actually. Um, but I, what I loved about your book is it has a calming approach. And um, yeah, like I said, one step at a time. And what, what made you write about this? Did you feel there was a need for this? Yeah, well, well, also, yeah, it was it was my little guideline to not being overwhelmed. Because <laughs> mm. especially with all social media and the news, and you're just getting bombarded with things that are happening all the time. And when you're one yeah. small human, it's hard to know what to do. So it's just, yeah, yeah what you can do in your own small sphere. <laughs> yeah. No, and I love that. And I think there's also, um, yeah, in this book, you see big things and small things. And I think there's different seasons for both of those. And um, I love that even a small act of kindness can make a big difference. And sometimes it's a few small acts of kindness to build up some confidence to do the big act. And so I really, I really love that. Um, as you mentioned as well in the book, you mentioned about the hugging and we can't quite hug anymore. And just for fun, I'd love to know what's your, your way of greeting at the moment. Is it the the jab or the nod or <laughs> how what's like your it. form? Yeah, I quite like the air hug, even though it's very silly. <laughs> oh, a little it's Bluetooth hug. Yeah, a little Bluetooth hug. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, if you want to hug everyone right now, you can do a little blue <laughs> hug through the screen. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think um, one other question before I head over to the comments from um, the audience is, yeah, just can you tell us a little bit about how you felt when you saw your book come to life? Oh, it's so nice seeing big pictures and a 3D object. So thanks to Imaginary House for taking it off the screen. <laughs> a real pretty thing. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, it's, it's really it's, nice it's, having feedback and that people find it kind of meaningful. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, no, and I think uh, we've also just thoroughly enjoyed um, everyone ordering the book and we've got such wonderful feedback from it i got a mom um she sent me a message that she said i thought i was simply reading a storybook to my kid and i ended up weeping and she said and she said i was weeping from joy so um yeah i just i think take that as affirmation that you really have created a wonderful masterpiece but let me not do all the asking of questions and let's open it up to the um audience so let's see the first. When is the next one coming? <laughs> I, I have a few little ideas, but they're not they're not real books yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> no Great. <laughs> Just keep it keep it vague for now. But yeah, we we definitely are excited to see the next one. So great question, Peter. So unfortunately, I have to answer this one of do you ship to Australia? So at the moment, not. Um, but we always, we are a publishing house that focuses on local authors and illustrators with the intention of selling um, internationally. So if you've got um, publishing houses in Australia that want to buy the book, let us know. <laughs> we'll make it happen. So I'm a mum who, mum who cries when she reads moving children's books, and this one certainly makes for tears dripping down the cheeks. I love that, Nicola. <laughs> yes, I love that the bully is included in the hack. That's such a great statement. Thank you, Wade. I think we all need a bit of love, and sometimes, sometimes even the bully more so. Um, yeah, because yeah, we all have a little bit of hurt sometimes in our life. So I love that. Let's see if they oh just wonderful statements. I'm loving this. <laughs> I love that it doesn't shy away from saying that there's hardship and suffering and that we see and notice it. 
but also that the wisdom and power of doing a small thing is so significant. 100%. I feel like we need to um, quote that and post that because that is just, um, I think so, so often um, we we shy away from those things as kids, but kids are experiencing this in a very real way. Um, so I really, I love that. Thank you. Let's see if there... Do you have an e version? So not as of not yet, um, but we'll definitely look. We're definitely looking into that. Um, so yeah, Peter, you're just asking the, some great questions here. Thank you. And yeah, this is also just uh, what is your writing and illustrating process? So the writing one is getting it all down and then asking for a bit of help <laughs> because <laughs> sometimes when you're so into it you're so close to it you it's good to have it, another perspective but not too much help mm. so you don't get confused <laughs> yeah. illustrating, I love doing hand-drawn things so I love painting and then splashing around mm -hmm. and making a nice big mess and then scanning it into the computer and tidying it up <laughs> so that's oh, I love that mm -hmm. Yeah, I like your point on um, not getting too much advice either. Um, but I think also everyone has different, everyone's, like I said, everyone's creative, so everyone's got a different angle to it. So um, also from my side, my advice would be to ask those, have a small group that you ask and that you trust and um, I guess have a similar vision um, as you. Um, but yeah, that's really great. I'm just checking if there are any more questions. Yeah. Um, can you share any wis oh, wisdom, not wisdom, can you share any wisdom for the aspiring young writers listening in who want to publish a book too? Yeah, just make things and have fun. Mm -hmm. And if, you're, if you make something that you love, other people might love it too. <laughs> mm. I love that. Um, and I think that's also, it's been such a joy working with you because you just, you just put your work out there. It's just, your work is beautiful. It's incredible and it's inspiring. It's amazing when people, I think the biggest thing is it's amazing when people really love what they do or, and that can, again, that can be a book, that can be anything. There's something wonderful to see people functioning in joy. Um, yeah, let's. I think one thing we're going to actually ask, so we've got some questions for this, but Marianne, would you mind reading the book once more? <laughs> sure. Yes, I did read it very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> cool. Don't read it that quickly. <laughs> there are birds. There are bees, there are sloths up in trees. What a wonderful world this can be. And there's Peppy slipping out the tree. <laughs> <laughs> See the camels and yaks? You can ride on their backs. There are also some other little friends in there riding the animals. Swim with dolphins and whales. Watch out for their tails. Oh, Peppy might get hit there. <laughs> yeah, just looking worried. <laughs> <laughs> there are mums, there are dads, there are hugs to be had. Hug Nandi, hug Jack, hug friends who hug back. There are marvellous places that make your heart sore. There are small precious spots to keep secret from all. But sometimes this world can be rather sad. Some people go hungry. Some people get rough. Some people just haven't been hugged quite enough. Sometimes the sky is hazy, not blue. And sometimes the seas can be dirty too. So when we feel blue, then what do we do? One thing at a time, that's what we do. Pick one piece of rubbish out of the sea one sandwich for someone in some kind of need. 
One word to a bully. No, one hug for a friend. Mm. One thing at a time. The things never end. But please don't get tired. That just won't do. For this world is a wonder, and my dear, so are you. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, oh man, it makes me happy every time you read it. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to thank you, Mary Ann, for um, being brave and putting yourself out there by writing this book, writing and illustrating this book. And I also just wanted to thank everyone that is tuned in today. It really makes um, such a difference. I think it makes a difference to Mary Ann, it makes a difference to us as a local publishing house, um, it's just really wonderful to see support. Um, yeah, and um, if you do want to purchase the book, you can go to um, our website, and um, that's www.imaginaryhouse.com. And there is a missing I, so it's I-M-A-G-N-A-R-Y um, house, and I promise, as a publishing house, we can spell. Um, and you can see on our website as well, um, it's just that actually a kid misspelled the word. And we really love that because um, we're not stuck on getting everything perfect, but really harnessing imagination. So yeah, thank you again. If you can purchase it on our website. Also, if you're not wanting to purchase online, you can also go to any of your main bookstores, um, exclusive books, bargain books, all of those stores. And if they don't have it in stock, you can request um, stock because um, we are, yeah, they may have sold out um, or may have not just got that stock in just yet. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much. And I hope I'm not sure what the weather is doing everywhere, but in Cape Town, the sun is out. So um, I hope you get to enjoy some sun and yeah, have a lovely rest of weekend. Oh, yes, thank you so Bye much. Bye, everyone. <laughs> yes.